Hi everybody, Jesse Aston here with AstonHandmade.com, Twitter.com slash iArtBooks, Facebook.com slash iArtBooks, and my shop on Etsy is iArtBooks.Etsy.com. Don't worry, I'll put that all uh, in writing so you don't have to remember it all. Um, but for my first video, I wanted to just give you a tour of my workspace. Messy as it is, um, this is where I do all my work. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the tools that I've made myself tools that I've repurposed and mainly I've got at uh, yard sales and whatnot in Craigslist. So stick around and I'll show you that and more. So this is the first workbench that I had uh, right here. Um, I built it for when I was getting into woodworking and that turned into my bookbinding bench. Um, I'm talking about this part right here. It's about two feet wide by three feet long and I made my first several books on just that. Um, on here is a sewing frame that I made uh, from an old chair I think or table and um, it serves me for now. I'm going to be upgrading soon um, with some wooden dowels taller um, and I'll post a video on how I do that and my paper cutter it's a uh, pretty weak you can see maybe you can see it that it split right there um, so I use it just for paper I made the mistake of trying to cut a board with that um, if anybody out there has a really nice paper cutter and they want to do a trade for a book or something hit me up and uh, this is a wood bent, a wood vise that I use for various things uh, when I'm sawing um, paper or sanding pieces or um, even using it as a nipping press to um, condense folds and um, set books once they've been um, put together. And um, the rest of my workbench here is actually... Um, a solid core door. It's about seven feet long and as wide as the old workbench was long. Uh, my next door neighbor really wanted a book for his wife and traded me for all the lumber um, for one book. And so I did that pretty early on. And I'm pretty stoked that he was able to do that. Um, and my, this is where I do my pasting. It's a bunch of paste paper. It's where I do all of the um, gluing together and and cutting. Um, and this is another handmade tool. That's a finishing press. I also use it as a backing press. Um, I put the book in there, and I can tighten it with these. And this is where I'll round the back of the book or even um, for pasting um, the spine on and it's working pretty good easy I'll do a, a tutorial I took pictures when I made that so and I'm gonna be making a new one with the harder wood and some metal um, plates and um, that's about it as far as tools right here um, I'm gonna show you some other stuff and, okay, and this is the other end of my workbench. I have um, wanted to show you the, all the materials that I have been collecting uh, for book covers. I've only barely scratched the surface of making books out of them. Um, but you may recognize some. I just recently did one of the Tomoe, I actually found out it's pronounced Tomoe. Uh, paper, um, a Japanese paper out of this really nice linen. Um, and I have some leather over here, uh, more leather here. Um, and this is where I keep my paper. And more paper, a lot of uh, cotton um, decorated paper. And um, even some old vintage wallpaper. Um, and I want to show you a few books that I'm working on right now. 
This is um, completely black and white. No color is actually. Um, I thought about doing a a color um, bookmark, but I decided not to. It's it's a pretty neat book. It has a um, raised bands on the spine, leather spine, leather corners, uh, a paper cover with. Um, it looks like dictionary or encyclopedia pages from a Halloween dictionary. Um, and some end sheets and some nice new paper that I haven't um, put out there yet um, by Wow Sao. It's Royal Resource, really nice paper for fountain pens. Um, and there's another one, the same kind of paper, biggest one yet. Goat skin, raised bands on the spine. Um, this really funky fabric. It's not completely finished yet. It's gonna it'll have. This will be the end sheet. And um, big book for you to work with. Get a lot of writing done in here. And an experimental piece. This is. A copy of Moby Dick. Hopefully you can see the uh, embossed lettering on it. Um, what it is is uh, I have a, the whale right here and then the words Moby Dick. That's uh, blue leather on the front and back and then a black leather spine. It's not finished yet but it's getting close. It's going to be a pretty cool little book. I don't know if I'll sell it. I might, if someone's interested. But I'm going to try to be doing more of these rebinds of classic books. So if you have any ideas, let me know. And that's about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is um, a book that I found at a vintage store. It had no spine, no covers. The sewing was all falling apart and um, it's actually a first edition John Steinbeck book called The Long Valley and um, I cleaned it up I took out all the old stitching re-sewed it, reinforced some of the pages that were tearing and I'm going to do a, um, a full leather binding on this so I'll keep you updated on that and more that's about it. Uh, go check me out at facebook.com slash iartbooks, twitter.com iartbooks, and um, astinhandmade.com. And let me know what you'd like to see in the future. I'm open to anything, and uh, I'll see you next time.